Welcome to this video. Great to have you on board. In this video, I want to share some exciting things we worked on over the last weeks. And I also want to let you know what we're planning for the near future on both YouTube, our website and on Udemy. And I'm very interested in hearing what you would be interested in, because it's been quite some time since we last asked you. So these are all things we'll cover in this video. Let's dive in. So let's start with what's new. And there we got a brand new course for you, about which we're super excited. It's on MongoDB and it will be a great preparation for some other course we'll release relatively soon. I'll come back to that in a second. MongoDB is one of the most exciting, best performing and trending database solutions you can work with these days. It's in high demand, it's used in many popular tech stacks like the mean stack and it works perfect with Node.js but also with all other major programming languages. We actually use it in a lot of internal projects and I love working with it. That is why we prepared this course because it was just a lot of fun to work with MongoDB and I absolutely wanted to pass that knowledge on to you. This course is more than 17 hours long and you'll learn everything about MongoDB you need there. But one important thing, this course is built for developers. You'll not learn detailed database administration things. We'll cover all the crucial fundamentals like security, how to create users. We'll cover things like indexes, which are super important for getting the most performance out of a database. And I will also show you how to deploy your database solution into the web. But if you're looking for the latest nitty gritty admin things, this is not the course. On the other hand, the course will have everything on CRUD operations, the various ways of using them, how to configure them all on the many operators MongoDB offers you to find data efficiently and to update it efficiently and in general everything you as a developer will need to work with MongoDB. This course is built for both beginners and experienced users because we'll start at the basics but you can skip those if you already know them and then we'll dive super deep into all the core operations you as a developer do with MongoDB. And in this course, we will also have an approach that works with every programming language. So you don't need to use Node.js. It will work with PHP, it will work with .NET, whatever your environment is, whatever your language or your tooling is. The approach shown there will work. We'll teach you all the features and commands in a way that just works with any setup you're using. And we'll work a lot in the shell for that in this course, in the Mongo shell, which is a neutral way of connecting to the database whilst still using the same syntax as you will use it in your native programming languages. And we'll have an entire project in this course where we will actually use Node.js to build an application, but only to show you how to take that theoretical knowledge, that shell-based knowledge, and apply it to a real web application. And once you got that, you can of course do the same with PHP, .NET, you don't need to be a Node developer to get the most out of this course. I'm super excited about this course. I think it's really helpful, has a lot of content in there, and obviously I'd love to see you in this course. But that's not all. We got our plans too. Now what are our near-term plans? On Udemy, you'll see something on Node.js, because I know that a lot of you want such a course and I work so much with Node.js. Obviously, I want to create such a course too. I want to pass my knowledge and the things I learned about Node.js to you. And the Mongo course is actually a great preparation for that, because in this course, we'll also use SQL, not just MongoDB, but also MongoDB. And therefore, these two will work seamlessly together. So that's Udemy, but we're on YouTube here, right? Well, on YouTube, I'm planning a new full project. I can't tell yet when I'll be able to start it, but I want to build an entire project again. And I want to hear your input here. Which tech stack would be interesting to you? Which kind of project? Now, sometimes you then give me uh, ideas like build a complete web shop that should be able to do this, 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 this and that. It should still be a project that can be completed in a reasonable amount of time. But please share any input, any ideas you have, and I'll try my best to create a nice series that, well, offers a lot of interesting things to learn. Besides that, I also saw, or I, I hear it for a long time, that a lot of you want to see more on testing. And testing indeed is something which is not super prominent on this channel or my Udemy courses. 
Now, I wanna change that. I wanna dive more into testing with you. I wanna teach you more about what testing is, how we use it and so on. So I'm planning some introductory series on testing in this, uh, on this uh, channel here too. So expect something in that direction from me as well. Now, besides that, as always, we wanna hear your thoughts. So what other uh, things would you want to see? What are your ideas? Not only for things I did not mention here, but also for the testing or the project thing, but also for totally different topics. What are you missing? What would you like to see more? Please share your thoughts in the comments. That would be awesome. And if you're interested, definitely join that MongoDB course I mentioned. It's amazing. I really loved creating it and I'd be super happy to welcome you in the course, therefore. Bye.